here we are in Stellenbosch. Guys, what a beautiful town at Die Salza Golf Estate and what an estate this is. It really does have everything you need And here we are, ladies and gentlemen, the master suite, the creme de la creme, exactly where you want to be, where you want to live, where you want to spend all your time, chandelier there, two of your very own personalized lights on the left and right hand side of the bed. And I mean, massive bed here that fits in very, very easily. And here we are within your walk-in closet. I love how they've done this. Plenty of cupboard space, and then we've got some lattice work on some of the cupboards. It really does tie in that country vibe. We're on a golf estate, we're out in the farmlands, in the vineyards, and that brings it all together like most of the decor in the home, the chandeliers and the lighting especially. I also love how this roof is slanted with the lighting pushing forward onto where you'll be getting changed, onto where you'll be getting dressed. Clever design elements, and right over here, we have got your master bathroom. Come with me as I take you through this avant-garde masterpiece. And here it is coming along this long hallway, really building up the anticipation. You've got plenty of windows in this room, letting in so much natural light. Not only windows in the corner over there, but also windows over there. Huge bed right in the middle. And again, talking about featured walls, the feature wall extends from the headboard all the way up onto the ceiling, making this feel like a very special place to be. And trust me, it is a very, very special place to be. In front of the bed, you've got your TV section floating, coming up from the floor. So if you'd like to watch TV in bed, you know that's sorted. But what makes this so special is maybe you want to watch TV while you're in the bath. So you'll swivel this right around. And now come with me as we take a look at this. And yeah, you find yourself in your walk-in closet slash bathroom area. one of Santon's most affluent areas right next to River Club Golf Course, exactly where apparently our president plays. So follow me as I take you through this stunning contemporary mansion. Let's explore the rooms and let's see what else this place has to offer. And welcome to the creme de la creme, the master suite located upstairs. And like any master suite, it has access not only to one, but to two balconies. Now you came here with the one balcony and we were just on the other balcony over here so you know the crosswind. If you've ever watched Big Bang Theory, Sheldon would be so happy with the location of this master suite. Now, behind me over here, you've got your walk-in closet again with those incredibly unique lighting elements, down lighting throughout this room, bulkhead ceiling, making it feel special like every single other bedroom within this home. We've got a double bed in here again. There's a lot of space in this bedroom. Guys, without further ado, let us show you this three-story mansion. <laughs> one of the best, one of the most master of all master bedrooms that I have ever seen. Now, on my right-hand side, massive windows that open up looking out onto Lion's Head. That's a view I could wake up to every day. We've got a king bed over here that feels almost diminutive as, again. Beautiful chandelier above me lounge set, we've got a display cabinet or display shelving should I say. You've got your very own sunroom outside 
and then your own balcony as well for you to enjoy and that balcony you can put a jacuzzi on it's been rated for jacuzzis it's been rated for the weight of the water so if you want to have a jacuzzi with 180 degree ocean views in Camps Bay this is the house to have it and nobody's buying a house in Camps Bay unless you want to sit in a jacuzzi This house is so special, you guys are gonna love it. Without further ado, but let's show you what makes this house so special and why this could be your next home. Here we are, the master suite, the creme de la creme. It turns everything up to 11. Look at the size of this room. Now I've mentioned about having your own little slice of nature. On my right hand side, it's not a small garden, it is a huge section of greenery right here for you to enjoy but also pocket doors there leading out onto your patio so should you wish it you can open up those doors and you can go right out onto that beautiful entertainers patio that we're talking about look at these lighting elements throughout the house we've got these vents there so if you've got your fireplace on that's going to be heating your house up king bed right here almost looking like a single in this master suite it is incredible it is large really high roofs i love the way this place has been designed Right here, we've got the master suite. Let's take a look. No master suite is complete without not one but two doors that open inwards into this incredible area. We've got not only one of the biggest four poster beds I've ever seen, we've also got stunning solid wood, TV console, TV above it, the bed. Oh no, it's not against the wall. insane bathroom two separate vanities both of them gigantic in their own right huge mirrors above it massive ceiling speakers in the ceiling i mean don't you want to listen to music while you sit in this bathtub that not only takes up the center of the room but is raised and is a jacuzzi tub and anybody who knows me personally knows just how much i love a jacuzzi You know your master suite is pretty snazzy when you've got a double set of doors leading into it. Coming in, as you can see, another one of these marble floating gas fireplaces surrounded by that reflective mirror over here. All of this is skylight, letting in so much natural light and making this look so cool. You've got a slatted skylight in your walk-in closet. I mean, that's epic. We've got this fancy closet in the middle, but then it is surrounded by so much storage space. And not only what you see here, there's a little pathway that goes off on my right hand side and leads around the back that has got even more cupboard space. On my right hand side, this is your ensuite bathroom. We went from a square bath to an oval bath, and now we're sitting quite firmly in the circular bath territory. It's definitely a first for the private property home shopper show to have a circular bathtub. 
It is uh, quite fancy. I can only imagine lounging here with your rubber duck, enjoying the view that comes out of these incredible windows right here. You can see you get plenty of privacy with all the trees there, so you don't need to worry about that. You don't have a neighbor in front of you, so you don't need to worry about that either. But again, you've got the double shutters on both of these uh, windows, closing it down or adjusting the light as you see fit. This half of the bathroom, carpeted. Over here, you've got a massive shower that has got glass on three of the four sides. The fourth side, housing really, really nice OXO taps and a rainfall shower head. And I mean, this is, this is a display case, not just a shower, so I love it. Double vanities, massive double vanities, huge mirror. Again, another bulkhead sunlight there, letting in that natural light that just creates such a nice warmth tone in this room. And right where you guys are standing, that is your closed off and sealed toilet space, floating toilet, hidden system, all the fancy stuff you can expect. But behind me is a bedroom that has it all. Bulkhead ceiling with recessed LED lights. A continuation of that beautiful tinted mirror. Space for a massive L-shaped couch. I mean, this is the same shape or size couch I've got in my living room area. And this is sitting here in your bedroom. So I love it. Wrap around balcony. Again, letting you get some of that outdoor area. Enjoy yourself. You can see there's some seating over there. Sit down and enjoy the last bits of summer, unfortunately. And then again, a continuation of that design element. And I love that they've done it with the hanging chandeliers and the cabling running all the way through, giving a bit more warmth, making it just a little bit nicer. But I mean, nothing expresses just how big this bedroom is. When you look at a King XL bed and it looks this small. This is definitely one of my favorite master suites we've ever done.